I hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. Let's start out today with some prayer. Lord, I thank you for another day you've given us. I ask that you be with everyone watching today. Please keep them healthy, keep them safe. Help them to have a fun time while they're home with their families. Please heal those who are sick, and I ask that our life gets to go back to normal soon. In your name we pray, amen. Today's memory verse comes out of Psalm 95, three through five, and it says, For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Psalm 95, three through five. So we're gonna do a little activity. I have sections of the verse written out on strips of paper, and we're gonna see if you guys can put them in the right order. So I'm gonna start with this little card here, and it says, and his hands formed the dry land. Do you think this goes toward the beginning or end of this verse? It goes at the end. Very good. Next part says, For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. Do you think this will go at the beginning or at the end? It's going to go at the beginning. Next we have, And the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it. Toward the top or toward the bottom? What do you think? This one is going to go toward the bottom. Good. And the very last one we have, in his hands are the depths of the earth. So here we have our entire verse. Let's read it one more time. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Psalm 95, 3 through 5. Very good, you guys. All right, now we're gonna play another little game together. On this whiteboard, I have some hints and I'm gonna read some definitions to you guys and I want you to see if you can figure out which word matches the definition. So here's number one. Number one says, a song or poem written about God used for worship or praise. King David wrote many of the ones in the Bible. What can number one be? Number one is Psalm. Ooh, and I need to spell that right. There we go. Psalm. Number two. Anything a person worships that affects that person's actions or choices. What could number two be? Number two is gods. And number three, an amazing act that shows God's power. You can't explain what happened in any other way. Number three is miracle. Very good. So some words that you guys will need to know for our story today are Psalm, Gods, and Miracle. The story we're reading today comes out of the book of John, chapter 9, verses 1 through 41. And this story is about when Jesus healed a man who was blind. One Sabbath, Jesus was walking with his disciples, and they noticed a blind man. Teacher, whose sin caused him to be born blind? His parents or his? Neither one, Jesus told them. This happened so God's glory will shine. This world is very dark, 
but I am the light of the world. Jesus spit on the ground and made some mud. He put the mud on the blind man's eyes and said, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam. After he washed, he could see. Some neighbors recognized him, but others said he was someone else. But he insisted, I am the blind man. The people asked how he could see. A man named Jesus put mud on my eyes. Now I can see, he said. The crowd asked where Jesus went. I don't know, he said. He was taken to the Pharisees for inspection. He and his parents were asked, how did this happen? When they heard Jesus healed on the Sabbath, some were furious. He is a sinner for breaking Sabbath law. But others defended Jesus. How can a sinner do miracles? The blind man exclaimed, no one heals someone born blind unless they are from God. The Pharisees were so angry, they threw him out. Jesus heard about this, found him and asked, do you believe in the Messiah? Yes, tell me where to find him. Jesus told him, you are looking right at him. Lord, I believe you, he said. Then he worshiped Jesus. So let's go through this story a little bit. I want to see what you guys think happened first, next, and last. So I'll have you guys think about this and then I'll share my answers. What do you think happened first? Pause the video if you need to think about it a little bit. What happened after that? What happened next? And what was the last thing to happen? What happened at the very end? All right, once you've thought about it, I'll go ahead and share my answers. So I think that the first thing that happened was Jesus noticed the man who was blind and he healed him. Next, that bl blind man was taken to the Pharisees and inspected and the Pharisees were not happy because Jesus healed on the Sabbath day and that was something they thought was wrong. And finally, the man believed that Jesus was God's son and he worshiped him. He knew that anyone who did a good deed like healing someone must be from God. A regular human being can't do that. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna leave you with one more question and then I'm gonna leave you with an activity that you can do. So here's a question I want you guys to think about, and then it could be fun to discuss with your parents or your brothers or sisters or anyone else who's around. So think about this. If you were there in the crowd that day and you watched Jesus heal a blind man, what would you be thinking? How would you feel? What would you do? If you were there, what would you think? What would you do? Share your answers with your family. See if they have the same answers or if you guys would do something different. No answers wrong. And once you have done that, I want you guys to draw a picture of Jesus healing the blind man. And some of your parents are friends with me on Facebook or have my phone number. So I would love for them to send me your art, right? So think about that question. What would you do if you were there and draw me a beautiful picture that hopefully your parents can send to me. All right, I hope you guys have a fantastic week and remember that God loves you.